What's up everyone? My name is J-Pop Lover and we are about to find out if whether or not I have any luck in opening Ghosts from the Past. Now, everyone has been opening this set and it has been a very, very mixed bag of emotions for a lot of people. So hopefully this lowly little YouTuber can go ahead and get some amazing pulls. So let me go ahead and start introducing myself as I go through this pack. Of course, the first one I tried opening, I had a little bit of camera difficulty, so I want to go ahead and apologize for that. But, okay, let's go ahead. Go into Time Thief, Dragonite Felmax, Mask Change, and Thestalos. So guys, I am definitely new to the YouTube scene, not new to Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon at all whatsoever. Um, I have been collecting both for... Yu-Gi-Oh! is going to be basically about 15 years or more. And then Pokemon is probably going on about its 8th or ninth year. Um, I definitely love collecting cards, of course, that's why both myself and you are here doing this at this moment in time. But... We're going to see whether or not my luck at all holds out and see how this goes. I'm definitely trying to look for, of course, a um, Dark Magician. That would be probably the most amazing thing I could possibly pull out of this set. So hopefully we'll go ahead and see. We're opening our second pack here. Sun Balloon Bloom, Hieratic Seal of Reflection, Resonator Engine, and Sun Avalon Dianome. All right. But... Yeah, um, it is going to be such a pain to try and pull anything. I know all of you out there probably at this point have went ahead and gotten your pulls, and hopefully you have pulled something extremely, extremely good, because this set has been one of the ones that have had tremendously bad pull rates from what I have seen. There actually is a lot of good cards. If you guys are running any type of Pudding Sys deck or Medulce deck, it would be great. Um, Cosmojo, Metal Foes, and Dragoonity Whirlwind. There is a lot of stable cards in here that I did not actually expect to be printed in here. I know that Metal Foes has been kind of one of those decks that I've been eyeballing myself here, um, mainly because archetypes are just fun in Yu-Gi-Oh! We all know that. If we have enough resources in order to make as many decks as we possibly can see fit, I mean, that's just kind of the point. So, with a lot of the pandemic happening, I know for myself, I kind of went a little bit crazy. And I ended up finishing a hero deck, which, as all of you know, costs an insane amount of money, especially if you end up getting things like Malicious Bane and a couple other very key and important staple cards if you want a tournament-ready deck. But I ended up doing that, and that was probably my pride and joy for the pandemic portion of Yu-Gi-Oh, which I was ecstatic about more so than anyone to get that deck done. But enough talking, we're going to get to what you guys want to see. So I went ahead and actually purchased four separate boxes before trying to get over to this guy right over here. Um, I wanted to try and see if I could actually pull something separate from, of course, the set, mainly because once you have a set, you're going to be locked in, of course, to that rarity like most of us know. So hopefully we'll see if I get anything good. See you are you? All right. We have Rare Metal Foes, Bismuth Gear, Artifact Durndal, Starry Night, Starry Dragon. Now, I'm not too mad about pulling Starry Night, Starry Dragon. I mean, all the dragon cards look absolutely gorgeous in this set. I think any anytime we get a just 100% shiny set, it looks absolutely fantastic. I think my luck definitely goes more for OCG cards, though. OCG cards, I had my Rarity Premium Gold collection, and I actually pulled a Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, out of there with the new gold tech that they ended up putting. That card, man. Alright, so as I am trying to introduce myself while opening cards, hopefully a lot of you have been playing Trishula. Oh, Nightshadal Genius. Okay, Nightshadal Genius. Ugh. Okay, 
I mean, Chadel deck stuff. Hopefully most of you have been finding your cards. I know luckily we have um, finally come back a little bit from uh, not being able to find any type of card product inside of Walmart, Target, or pretty much anyone else. Luckily we're getting a little bit of a break with restocks being a little bit more kind now so hopefully you guys are in that margin that if you have just started collecting definitely good luck to you guys and i hope you have been enjoying collecting Yu-Gi-Oh or pokemon these past few months and if you are an old collector i feel your pain in trying to get a lot of this product um ghost from the past finally actually just dropped back down to a somewhat Regular price, I mean, you're still going to be overpaying for it. It's $24.99, mostly everywhere at this point now. I know that these boxes right here that I actually ended up getting um, were from Best Buy. And I actually got really lucky with that restock. So I'm going to leave like one suspense pack in the corner. Normally, my little thing is that I'll try to leave a pack that I feel good luck with over to the side so that way I can open it just in case if my expectations don't get met at all then you know I still have something to hope for. Okay, so fresh sis start, Gear Town, Vol Flame, Hieratic Seal of Supremacy, and oh Leganus. Nice. I love you know, I love the Dragoonity decks. The Dragoonity decks, you know, in the beginning when we got our first like Dragoonity structure back in the day. I feel like that was such a good archetype for Dragon Lovers because, in all honesty, let's face it, Dragon Lovers, we have to normally choose between um, Blue Eyes or Red Eyes were the first ones to start out with. Then, of course, we started having Chaos Max decks, and after that, we ended up just having quite a bit of options to work from. Dragoonity was one of the ones that I felt had a lot of good potential, and for a while there, it was actually really viable. Um, Hieratic Dragon, uh, okay, we have Tefnut again. Okay, Sun Dragon Overlord. All of these cards, man. Heliopolis, Memory Sunbind Healer, Starry Night Rail. Okay, so we got some Starry Night cards as well in here. Whew, I'm really hoping now, guys, to see if whether or not we can really pull anything. All right, Metal Foes Counter. Time Thief, Retrograde, Sunvine Shrine, Galaxy Cypher, Blade Dragon, and Dragoonity Knight, Arid Bahir. Okay. So, oh, going through introductions extremely quickly while opening, um, I definitely want to thank you guys for checking out the video. It's not going to be as high quality as everyone else's, so I appreciate you here. But while you are here, hopefully you are crossing your fingers for me because I cannot tell you how much I was just like, J-pop, be real with yourself. Are you really going to get anything? You had all of your great, great idols within Simply Unlucky. And also Sam from Team Samurai try and get something out of these sets and the first pulls man were not fantastic and you know you go in thinking to yourself maybe if I just go in with no expectations maybe I'll get something but at the same time oh rip the pack wrong because that's how we do <gasps> maybe we're lucky because we ripped the pack wrong all right, heart of the cards, maybe, maybe, Cosmojo, Metal Foe, ugh. Metal Foe Stealing, Pudding Sis, Time Thief, you know what, I'm actually going to put Winder off to the side, I actually, everybody, you know, Time Thieves are something amazing, if you guys haven't looked into the archetype, Time Thieves look insanely fun, and then of course, our last time, we got another Arid Bahir again. Oh, okay guys, let's keep going. So this is, of course, our last box. I have that one pack that I put over to the side. Um, it is not looking good as far as just these boxes go. So hopefully, 
we'll see what happens. So we have Phalanx, Mass Change, Royal Prison, Backup Secretary, and Starry Night Arrival. Alright. You know, in all honesty, I cannot get super mad with this set. And the reason being is because... I think there are a lot of good cards in here, in all honesty. If you want to kind of build just a couple of very fun decks, you have a lot of good kind of, I guess you could say a starter on what you would like to do. There is a good amount of Dragoonity support. Um, there's some co a good couple, you know, new additions to Shadal support. And you kind of have some options to work with, too. Metal Foes, of course, being um, probably one of the biggest things featured in here. So, I mean, I can't really get mad at this set. We have Time Thief Flyback, Evolve Volcano Handmaiden, Fairy Tale Tales, and Time Thief Double Barrel. All right, I'm going to put Double Barrel off to the side as well. Alright guys, so out of the actual just side boxes that aren't in this case right here, um, we now have our last booster to open. Okay. And, alright, Volflame. Recover. Molten Conduction Field. Fairy tale Rocka and Arm Dragon level 10. Okay, you know what? I am actually not mad at this. This is one of the cards I actually super, super wanted. So, of course, we're going to go over here and try to quickly sleeve the card. But, uh, still no Ghoster. I mean, I am not too surprised. I am definitely not too surprised. Going to lay him here over uh, I'm not too surprised that we're still not able to get the ghost here, but don't worry guys. <sighs> we still got the box. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my station here. Well, while we are opening this box and you guys get to see my horrible box opening skills, um, again, I have been collecting for quite a while and I think I absolutely love just the TCG community in general. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! starting out, I played this when I was a kid. I remember going to 7-Eleven my first time and actually just looking at it being like, I love the show. The show just started with Duelist Kingdom and I bought a Yuki deck. And, you know, you don't think to yourself as a child that these things later on down the road, especially, will be something um, worth tons of money. The original Yugi deck, like, sealed is just insane now. And you would never think to yourself in a million years that that would just be a thing that you kind of need to think of. Um, sorry, I'm a little out of focus, guys. But, you know, it's, it's amazing how much the game has evolved with how much different summoning methods we have, how much people are still to this day just playing the game. And I think it's freaking fantastic. And I absolutely love it. Um, I have a couple friends who just recently started and got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, which has been great. And, you know, I have my little own TCG player shop to help people. And, of course, kind of make some money to fuel my hobby here because, as always... You gotta, you gotta make the money in order to get the cards. We all can't be lucky like Kaiba and just be born with it, you know. Well, unfortunately, you know, in the show he wasn't born with it. That was an adoptive thing. And his dad, um, Japan made it infinitely worse because his dad looked like he was hella abusive. And so that just made things... 50 million times worse in the show. So, I don't know. Was the money worth it, Kaiba? I mean, it probably was. It did get him, I mean, blue eyes. So, 
All right. Okay, guys, let's keep going here. We're going to go ahead. We cracked open our case, and so let's go ahead and get into this right here. So we're going to go a little bit faster. I don't know what exactly we're going to be getting, but I am super duper excited, and I want to see whether or not we're going to be able to get anything good. Should you start Dragon TGX? Oh, you know, again, Dragon cards I cannot complain about. I absolutely love them. They are freaking gorgeous every single time and they're just absolutely they're good supports i mean for synchro summoning as well i think um synchro still gets for tournament wise i mean it's kind of like dealer's choice whether or not you want to deal with synchros normally you always have that staple you have in your deck but i think just for collection purposes they oh, they look so phenomenal okay hieratic seal medulce cosmojo Melfo Steelin and Starry Night, Starry Dragon once again. All right. Guys, I'm trying to believe in the heart of the card so hard right now and trying to see if whether or not we're going to be able to pull anything out of these here. All right. Putting this Time Thief Winder, Chicken Leaf, Phalanx, Mass Change, Hieratic Seal of Creation. You know, I never really thought to use any of the Hieratic stuff, to be 100% real with you. Um, I think my deck types, of course, I wanted to be that particular Asian boy and absolutely make a lowly deck. Um, I could never, ever, for the life of me, choose between Medulce or choose between Trap Tricks. Um, Trap Tricks, I think, is one of those really annoying decks, just like Yosenju, that basically you just get to completely annoy your opponent all the time. All the time. It doesn't matter what you're doing, you just basically completely annoy them. And honestly, it's a very fun deck. It's not going to be one of those things that you're like, I'm going to take this to a tournament and win, unless you really are Yugi Moto. I mean, you could be, I just don't know it, and you all of a sudden just are able to do it. But... Those decks are fun. I remember one of my first, um, just, you know, soft opening nights for a set. I can't even remember. Was it for Secrets of Eternity? It was for something extremely old at my old card shop before it closed down. And I ended up bringing... No, it couldn't have been Secrets of Eternity. That set's too old. What was it for? Goodness, but I ended up bringing Yosenjis because Secret Forces, I ended up getting a couple boxes and some booster packs and stuff. I went crazy because Necros. Of course, we all remember Necros. But, yeah, I I just remember having so much fun with that deck and people were just so stupid excited that I actually brought it. Ooh, Galaxy Cypher X-Dragon. Um, but people were so excited that I actually brought it. And they were trying to help say oh, well, you're missing this. It probably would be better if you ended up having this. There are so many suggestions for how to kind of evolve and change that deck that it was so cool. I absolutely just love it. <clears throat> All right, so Solomon Great Fall, Terra Trishula. We got Volflame again, Recover, and Starry Night. Oh, Flamel. Flamel looks dope. Like, that just looks absolutely insanely gorgeous. So, you know, over the years, with my Yu-Gi-Oh! bias, I really can't tell. I, I kind of... Would you guys ever want, like, full art cards? That, I think, is my question that I've always been asking people who play both Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. And, you know, even people who play Cardfight Vanguard. I don't know if any of you guys have played that. I haven't even played Cardfight Vanguard yet. If you guys just look at Cardfight Vanguard cards... Those things are ridiculous for artwork, and I'm not even joking. They are something extremely special. And hopefully a lot of you guys in the comments are shouting, Oh my god, not only did he forget a booster pack for real this time, but his card opening skills are so flippin' amazing. And I know, I know they are, guys. I know. Alright. But... Do you ever kind of hope that Yu-Gi-Oh! gets, like, super full art cards? Wouldn't that be insane, like, having a super full art Dark Magician? Like, I, I would lose my... I would lose everything on the world of any remnant 
of my sanity. I don't know what I would do with myself if all of a sudden I had a full art dark magician or a dark magician girl. Dark magician girl would be dope. I don't even know how I would contemplate that in my mind. Mind mole, emergency teleport. Emergency teleport, you know, I need to put off to the side because, dude, emergency teleport is such a... Ugh, it's such a good card for a Cyframe still, and... Cyframes is still one of those decks that I have not completed. Um, so that would actually be fun. Alright, so Sunset Genius and Sun Avalon again here. Okay, and leave my dragon card there. I'm getting too antsy. I want my magician. Alright, guys. So, come on, Sunvine Gardena. Lava Law Dragon. Hieratic Seal from the Ashes. Sayaru and we got another Hieratic Sky Dragon. Okay, gonna put these guys over here for now. You know, it kind of kills me a little bit on the inside to keep seeing um, Sayaru, only because I pulled him in Dark Duel stories and little like 10 or 11 year old me so badly, so badly wanted Dark Magician or Blue Eyes. And, you know, I have a buddy, Andrew, who you guys will probably hear me bring up time and time again because he does end up sometimes giving me product to open um, here on the channel very soon in the future. Um, man, I am so upset that he ends up actually having those two cards on him. And the childhood part of myself is like, dude, I hate you, but I can't, I can't be mad. That's my Yu-Gi-Oh, buddy. All right, time to start up and... Ooh, orchestrated return. All right. Oh, oh goodness, guys. Oh goodness. All right, we're gonna go for the second to last box here, guys. It is not looking good. It is not looking good at all. As like, I think I cut through the box. I'm not sure. I kind of. I might. I might have just a little bit. But guys, if you haven't said, leave in the comments below what you ended up pulling that was like a godly and insane pull. Um, I think it's just best that, yes, while I am sad that I might not pull anything super like amazingly awesome that I had wanted to pull, I love hearing when other people pull good stuff. I think that's just probably the best day booster when someone tells you, yeah, J-pop lover, I ended up pulling, you know, a ghost rare dark magician or I ended up pulling alternative out of this and you know what just for just because we're down to basically the last three packs um I think I should go ahead and actually pop open the other box once I get it right side up I think I should just go ahead and pop open the other box here And we're going to go ahead and kind of expedite this here. But if you guys have actually stuck around for this long, thank you so much. Again, I am a nobody in comparison to all the other YouTubers you can watch out there. So hopefully I am entertaining enough for you to stick around. All right. Our last six packs, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to hope and pray that something comes out of these. So let's go ahead and we're going to roll with it. By the way, guys, I'm sorry. My camera's like, probably everybody who's like looking at my face cam is like, why is this face cam a little bit off? I am crammed with so much stuff in here. I have so much things for you guys. We have so much product that I have kept not only over the pandemic, but to all my Sentai fans who notice what is like behind my shoulder, you guys are going to be in for a treat as well. All my Sentai and Kamen Rider peeps out there, go ahead and shout it out. But yeah. All right. Metal Fills Counter. Retrograde. Oh, Legatus again. All right, we're going down to the... Come on, guys. I don't care what you do. Any type of... Heart of the cards. Hold out. Hold your hands up for the spirit bomb. Something. I need some type of luck here in order to 
see what we can get. Oh, a splash page. Either I was super blind and we pulled him already, but I'm excited to see him at the very least. Mm, Rahel is back. Rahel is back. All right. All right. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. We got this. We got this. You know, I'm really sad I only pulled one emergency teleport out of all things, too. Draft. Hieratic Dragon. Type Thief Regulator. Another Armed Dragon level 10. Okay, I'll put him off to the side here. I already sleeved up my one. Last three packs, guys. Last three packs. Okay. Combination. I'm getting quiet because I'm trying to... Finally, at least I pull it evenly matched. I have been seeing people pull evenly matches like it's nothing. All of a sudden, I just pull one. This is the one I can hope from the set. You know what? I bet you more than anything... I am 100% going to probably get more of this set because I have a bone to pick with it. I don't know if I'm going to buy like 50 boxes like some people. Or, you know, what makes me upset <laughs> is that I was just like, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, maybe something really good is in there. Maybe I should just wait and hold on. Probably shouldn't have held on because I have a lot more super fun product to open for you guys. Okay. Fresh Sis start. Mass change too. Okay, Dark Requiem, Xyz Dragon, Cosmo Tin Can, and Red Supernova Dragon. Why was the box better? Like, I'm getting so many things I wanted out of the box more so than just the singular boxes out of, like, the actual display box. I'm getting more things. I wanted both Red Supernova Dragon and I wanted Dark Requiem, Xyz Dragon. We just pulled them now, like literally now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put those over in my tiny little pile here. You know, all of the mass change shoes. These, you know, mass changes would have been extremely useful when I was making my hero deck. I was, I was sorely saddened. But I mean, at this point, I have like a whole bunch of excess cards. So luckily, I think I had more than enough in order to make up for the non-expensive cards. Um, the expensive cards that I missed while collecting, you know, um, or my luck not holding out with, you know, Bakura set and Legendary Duelist, I think that was just a thing that I had to kind of come to terms with. <sighs> Guys, this is the last pack. This is the last pack. Do you guys think we could pull anything out of this one? Let's go. Hack. We have Heliopolis. Hieratic Seal of Banishment. Our Brave Dragon. <sighs> Sun Vine Thrasher. Alright, so. Moral of the story is, I think, the display box is going to be significantly better for things that I might want. I know that, as I said earlier, normally I think all of us as collectors are afraid of locking into that specific rarity. And I think, though, for me, the case actually did better for what I wanted to pull in particular. So I think I might have to buy another display box of this. But we'll go ahead and see what happens. But in the vein of Ghosts from the Past, guys, I think we're going to be opening a very special little set that was hiding behind Vulpix here, as you can see. Yeah, I know, I'm having a Vulpix stare at you. But I think we're going to be opening something very, very special. cha cha but the next video, guys, we are going to be doing, I'm going to be opening the Prismatic Art Collection. I have been keeping this baby sealed, as well as a couple other OCG products that came out during the anniversary for Yu-Gi-Oh! Just for the sake of me wanting to share the extreme happiness with you guys opening this set. I cannot tell you how many things in here I want more than anything. 
And the worst part is, this is not the set I am the most excited for. I am like maybe a 70% excited for this one to open, so I'm still going to freak out if we pull something good. But I have another surprise for you guys, so please do stay tuned. I will be posting a video every Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, so please stay tuned for that. And of course, if you guys would like to get to know me a little bit better, please don't hesitate to post a comment and go ahead and ask me anything. I will definitely be replying to you, seeing what's up with you guys. And I cannot thank you so much for checking out my first video. It's a little bit bare bones, don't worry. I'll get better as this goes along. But I definitely appreciate everyone who stopped by and will be opening this baby here next week so stay tuned for that because that is going to be super exciting so i am jpop lover if you guys can go ahead follow me on my social media links that are posted in the description so that way you guys can see a little bit of my personal life then also what is coming up as far as my youtube posts go and also go ahead please check me out on twitch as well if you can i'll be playing a whole bunch of games and then also once we get probably a good amount of people kind of paying attention i want to say maybe Maybe at least just a good group of people. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start doing my openings over there and recording them for YouTube so that way we can all go ahead and live be able to enjoy what we're going to be able to pull, especially with Pokemon, dude. So much of that stuff has fallen into my lap that it is ridiculous. But thank you guys once again for checking me out. My name is Lover, and Janet, see you guys later.